read this one slightly longer question so i'm going to give you some time to read it then we'll attack it first iteration when you're doing these questions don't be in a hurry make sure you get the funda right you get the detail right you verify that the answer is correct all of that with more practice you can reach a point where you're saying hey i can do this even quicker you can find the juicier methods we'll get there but initially the idea is to get everything correct it doesn't matter how much time you take right? in a garden there are two plants one plant is 44 centimeters tall and the other is 80 centimeters tall this is 44 centimeters tall and the one is 80 centimeters tall lovely the first plant grows three centimeters every two months so three 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 every two months it grows three centimeters second one goes five centimeters every six months five 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 but every six months okay. the number of months after which the two plants will have equal height is when will they have equal height and so this is five this is two this is three centimeters but it's three centimeters every two months that is five centimeters every six months first thing to do I'm comparing these two I'm going to think about the same set of time how much time I'm having for some growth here the same time I'll count here this is every six months this is every two months so if I have three sets of two months that will account for six months so first of all I'm going to say three sets of two months in six months what happens in six months this grows nine centimeters whereas this grows only five centimeters lovely so the first thing we have done is to say what equal units of time what is happening so in six month duration this grows by nine that grows only by five brilliant this is growing faster so this will catch up with that some how, after however long it might be this will catch up with that because whatever be this deficit it will grab on because it's going faster so it's like saying somebody is who's slower than you somebody who drives at 40 kilometers per hour for, and wants to go from bombay to pune has left you travel at 60 kilometers per hour then you don't just go from bombay to pune you go from bombay to pune and then keep on traveling You're, even if the person leaves half an hour one hour two hours earlier as long as there's a long enough distance for you to catch up you will catch up you're quicker and you'll catch up now the idea of catch up i want to think very differently every six months this grows nine centimeters every six months it goes five centimeters so in a six month period think about how much this plant will catch up with this plant how much will it gain how much more does it grow how much does it shrink the difference by find any way you can think about this this grows by nine that grows by five or in a six month spell the difference is four centimeters difference i'm going to call as delta so every six month this one gains four centimeters and right? so this grows four centimeters more than that one and now i'm not going to worry about each step i'm going to worry only about the difference between these two the starting point here is 80 starting point here is 44 or the difference between these two is 80 minus 44 what is 80 minus 44 80 minus 40 is 40 80 minus 44 is 36 the difference between these two is 36 centimeters this is the 36 centimeters this shorter plant plant but faster growing plant has to catch up right so it catches up four centimeters every six months how long will it take four 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 keep on adding when will we hit 36 in nine sets we'll read 36 or in nine into six months we'll catch up nine into six is 54 months i'm going to do a very quick recap and introduce you to one more idea 54 months is our answer what do we do i'm just going to cross check this so one plant starts at 44 another plant starts at 80 so every two months this grows three centimeters so this is 54 months or 27 sets of two months right? this grows 54 centimeters or nine sets of six months
So in this case, 24 sets of 2 months, each 2 months there will be a 3 centimeter growth. 27 into 3, 81 centimeters this grows. This is 9 into 5 equals 45 centimeters this grows. Or this will have a height of 125 centimeters. This will have a height of 44 plus 81 which again is 125 centimeters. In this case, these two perfectly match. It's a nice comparable set of, this is also, the, the difference is 54 months, which is a multiple of six months. It's also a multiple of two months, life is easy. But the questions were different. The numbers did not perfectly match. Then you have to count out in terms of the steps of six months, reach one point, And after that, go step by step, go two months, two months, two months, six months, and then methodically see where you go because they are not growing uniformly. This goes in steps of two months, that goes in steps of uh, six months. If that's how you have been given the data. So in this case, nine complete cycles, life works brilliantly. At the end of nine complete cycles, this plant will be 125 centimeter tall. So too will this plant or the difference of 36 centimeters has been caught up by the originally shorter plant in nine cycles, nine cycles of six months each. Or 54 months. The number of months after which the two plants will have equal height is 54 months. Lovely.